really know a fuck. High fashion, like go, y'all. Yeah. G wagon or the Rover. What's up, you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back to school supply haul and also a what's in my college backpack. You read the title, you know what's going on. We're just gonna get right into it. First thing I want to talk about is how my school is being run right now. So as you know, I moved in to campus. You saw my win vlog. But my classes are not all in person. We are doing hybrid here at my school and so that means some of my classes are online and then I do have in-person classes but um, it's only one day a week that I have in-person classes and it's only for two of my classes. I take five classes total. Um, if you're curious, I'm majoring in psychology and criminal justice and I'm a freshman in college if you do not know that yet. Hi, so in this clip I talk about how I had in-person classes. Um, my in-person classes have now been moved to online completely. I have no in-person classes at all and right now I am sitting waiting to get tested for COVID. Um, I have been sitting here since 9 a.m. It is 2.27. Um, I'm not happy about it, but we came into contact with somebody who was positive and our campus now has 75 cases as of yesterday. And in this clip, I know that I said we had like 30 something, but it's 75 now. And that's not even counting today's updated number. So off the um, backpack that I have is this Nike bag. Um, this was about $60. I got it from, like, the online Nike store. I got this my freshman year of high school, and now I'm a freshman in college, so it's been quite a few years, but this thing has not failed me once. It's really empty right now. All my folders and notebooks and all that are in a separate thing that I'm going to show you in a few minutes, but we're just going to go through my backpack and show you what my essentials are for back to school. So in the side here, we have my cup that I use every day pretty much. Um, it just looks like this. It is a Walmart cup and it's literally just like a Yeti cup. Um, keeps your stuff cold for like 18 hours or something like that. We like $6 at Walmart. And I was like, dang Walmart. In this little pouch right here, the smallest one, I have just like essentials for when I'm out. Um, these are things that I had in high school and then I added a couple new things but basically just based my backpack off of what I used in high school and what I didn't. So I have this little pouch thing that I keep in my bag. It's from Forever 21. It's just like a little makeup bag. Um, but in here I keep my masks. So I have this one that my school gave me. One of the ones that my best friend's mom made. It's marble. You guys know my obsession with marble but I love it and it's also I don't know if it's supposed to be reversible but it is because you can also do purple and essential for going back to school during the middle of the pandemic um next thing also an essential I just have this cute little hand sanitizer um I also carry a little floss with me just in case I need it I do eat in between my classes so if I ever needed it it's there and then I also carry a little EOS chapstick and then I also have a pack of tissues because, yes, it is um, coronavirus season, but it's going to be flu and common cold season pretty soon. So I keep a pack of tissue. Ridiculous. I also have another hand sanitizer. Um, this one I bought this year and then the other one I had from last year. But you definitely need hand sanitizer when going around campus, especially with 36 cases. Up to little bags of cough drops um these are the halls breezers and these are the halls relief um i've had these since last year. also in the front pouch of my backpack i keep my blue light glasses and they are always in this little pouch um the brand is beef ho mirror Fool in your eyes i don't know mine are just these clear ones so they just look like this i think they're super cute um I love them especially like I'm literally working on my computer all the time so I definitely needed them so for pencils this year I decided to just go with a bigger pack I do like mechanical pencils better than normal pencils I'm sure 
a bunch of you agree with me but um these ones are from walmart and they're just this big old rainbow pack of mechanical pencils number two pencils by pen and gear brand and there's 24 of them so that's perfect for me i'm all set with pencils i also had like some stuff left over from previous years that i brought with me so you'll see that in a minute but i did need pencils next i bought two packs of pens just because you need a good pack of black and a good pack of blue so i just bought both and they are the bic brand pens um everybody loves these i know you do um they're just the bic brand of pens they're super cheap and they're durable i love these pens um i like the way that they write they come in a pack of 10 um and i know that they come in bigger packs than that but this is all i needed but if you did want to get bigger packs i know walmart and target both have bigger packs of these i already put these away because i was anxious and most of them i didn't even get this year but these are my highlighters my colorful pens all of that junk sharpie brand is it gonna I have the Sharpie brand highlighters in all the colors of the rainbow. I also have some Expo markers just because I have a whiteboard calendar and stuff like that. So I do need Expo markers. I also have these highlighters. Um, these are not the highlighters that you probably think they are. They look exactly like the um, zebra highlighter pens or whatever from Amazon that are actually kind of expensive. My sister has them. These are from the Dollar Tree and they have like the fat end highlighter part and then they also have like the little marker part, fine tip part as well. And I was super excited to find them at Dollar Tree. I was like, okay. And then I also have these Paper Mate Ink Joy pens in every color of the rainbow as well. Um, these ones I've had for a long time. They're super durable. I love the way, like, they're like triangular, so gripping them, um, I don't know, I think it makes my handwriting look better. So I definitely recommend those for my flare pens, and they just look like this, and they are from my godparents. They sent me a little care package, so thank you so much to my godparents. Next are my post-it notes. I love post-it notes. I love to use them. Um, in textbooks and just to write myself notes. Um, I have yellow post-it notes. I have pink ones. I have green and I have orange and I have these like neutral color like yellow whitish color and then I also have these cute little hedgehog. Hedgehog? Is it a hedgehog or porcupine? I don't know the difference. Sorry. I'm kind of stupid but little hedgehog, porcupine, whatever they are, little post-it notes for my godparents as well, and those are so freaking cute. It's definitely not needed for everybody, but I bought scotch tape for my desk, and I also bought a tape dispenser, and I don't know where it is. Like, I remember buying it. I had a video clip of me buying it. I have no idea where it went, but I also bought this stapler, and it literally matched it. I have no idea what happened to it. But anyway, here is my rose gold stapler, which I am obsessed with. It'll look so cute on my desk. Um, it was $4 at Five Below, so you can't go wrong with that. I'm super excited to finally use it. Next thing is also not needed for everybody, but I personally needed it. Um, I brought a printer to school with me. Um, it's just like a Canon printer. I bought it at Walmart for $20 on sale like last year or something. So I just got this pack of copy paper from Walmart. It came with 500 sheets and it's the Pen and Gear brand. Next thing I wanted to show is this super cute um, notepad. Um, you guys know my obsession with Marvel and just wait for the rest of the video. But it's just this little cute notepad and it's the border is marble. This is a clipboard that I bought from Walmart I believe and it's marble and it just has a gold and it has a black border on the bottom, but there was writing on it. But I just use this to like review stuff, um, to study, and that way I'm not wasting paper or anything like that. It's this cute little notebook that my god family also bought me. Um, it says, grow through what you go through, and that is literally one of my favorite quotes. 
I have loved that quilt for a long time and I just thought, like look how cute the next thing that I wanted to show is my planner of the year um I'm not in love with the planner on the outside I do like the inside I like the way it's made um but the outside is kind of boring right now but I am gonna put some like stickers and make it my own um but right now it's just this plain planner and I got it from Walmart it was super cheap um my TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Target um usually that's where I get my planner and this year they had none that stood out to me they were all very ugly or they literally had none mine just looks like this on the inside it's got like the grid of the month and then if you flip it it has like each day written out like this next thing is this notebook from target it is literally the cutest thing ever it just says thoughts and it's like cheetah print but hearts um it's literally so cute but i use this as my to-do list book um i literally like write down um what i have to do for the week first of all if you haven't heard yet target has these new decomposition notebooks you've heard of composition notebooks i know your teachers have had you use it before elementary school middle school maybe in high school but i know in the younger grades composition notebooks were literally like on your school supply list it was a necessity um, but decomposition notebooks are something that Target has recently put out and they are 100% post-consumer waste recycled pages printed with soy ink made in the United States and the patterns are absolutely adorable. This is the one that I decided to get but there is a ton of patterns and a ton of colors out there. Um, they are a little bit on the expensive side but I wanted to just at least get one because um, they're adorable and every other youtuber has them so I just had to get them. Um, the next notebook I got was kind of disappointed because it looks like this and I thought this blue part was like a tag that you rip off after you buy it but it isn't. Um, I wanted it to just be this grid but it's not but I'm not mad about it. Um, it's still cute. I just wish that it was like a pink strip or no strip at all it says be the change you wish to see in the world gandhi and it's the cutest colors i love this notebook um i wanted to get the don't study me won't graduate notebook but my target didn't have it and i wasn't gonna drive around for a notebook this next thing is something i've literally never done before um i've never had these in my life but I don't think I'll ever go back. I absolutely love these and I'm definitely recommending them to you guys. These marble file folders and they literally are like Ziploc bags pretty much. Um, but what I do for my classes is I use these and you can put literally loose leaf paper, handouts, printouts and you can literally fit your notebook right in it and that way you keep all your stuff together for one class. And it's not like ripping out of the folder, falling out all over your backpack. I'm obsessed because um, I'm another person that is messy with their stuff. So I bought five, one for each of my classes. And to go with them, I also bought these binders that are also marble. And they just look like this. Um, I bought two of them because Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have the same classes. And then Tuesday and Thursday, I had the same classes. So I just got two of them instead of buying five I didn't need five um so I just did that and then I really love them they're from Walmart and usually I don't like to get my school supplies from Walmart besides just like pens and stuff I don't like to get my folders and binders and stuff from Walmart because usually they're really ugly and I just like targets better but these are all from Walmart and they were super cheap um and my target actually didn't have them cute of stuff this year so i was like wow walmart's stepping up i bought this last year because i was in college classes so i used the student discount deal and i bought this and it came with a free pair of studio beats and this year i'm using it again i will probably use it my whole college career i don't think i'll ever need a new one um it's just my macbook and i have this cute um marble case on it from amazon um, but my MacBook looks like this. Um, the keyboard, I'm gonna hold it. Um, the keyboard is also like a marble thing that I put on it. It came with the case. I have my 
AirPods. I just have the first generation AirPods and they just look like this when you're in a dorm and your roommate is also in a class. Um, they're super helpful. I do have my Beats, but I just wanted to buy myself AirPods. I've never had AirPods until literally the week I moved in. I went and bought them for myself. So, big girl purchase, but it just looked like this. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, don't forget to comment down below about your school journey. If you are going back to school online or in person or remote, like back and forth hybrid type thing um also comment your grade and all that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow all my social medias they're linked in the description box down below and i will see you in my next video bye